What's going on guys? In this video we are going to see an example of showing whether the limit exists or not for a multivariable function using squeezing approach. And here we have two different sets of condition, right? And uh, from this one we can say that uh, limit x, y approaches 0, right? That's what we have in the question. 0, 0 and uh, f of x that function is going to be equal to limit x y 0 0 3 x square y over x square plus y square right now if you plug the 0 for this one you can see that uh, we are getting a 0 by 0 condition right 0 by 0 condition but in uh, multivariate function we cannot use L'Hopital rule so in this case, what we are going to do is we are going to use the squeezing approach. To do the squeezing approach, what we do is we take 0 and uh, this one, we put this one in an absolute value, 3x square y over x square plus y square in an absolute value. Then we put this one to 3x square y absolute value over x square plus y square. Now if you look at this part right here, x square over x square plus y square and you can see that in the top we have x square in the bottom we have x square plus y square right y square value is always going to be a positive value and therefore this this whole value should be definitely less than one right because if you are dividing a number by bigger number this one should be de definitely smaller than one. So we can say that this value should be smaller than 3y, right? 3 absolute value y. So using this information, we can create a squeezing approach. Now let's go ahead and create it. Now what we are going to do is we are going to take the limit of these three. This one, this one, and this one. And squeeze it, like squeeze it and see what in between what this one is going to be. So limit x y approaches 0 0 first we have 0 that's going to be 0 right we don't have anything to apply and we know that this is uh, limit x y 0 0 approaches 0 0 and absolute value of 3 x square y over x square plus y square and then we take the limit x y 0 0 right and uh, previously you can already detect that definitely we are going to have a limit existing situation because you can see the power right here this is square this is one so we have three powers and in the bottom we have only two power right so if you think about like 0 cube over 0 square and you can like this is just to illustrate this is not a formula don't try this one uh, you can to illustrate you can see that 0 times 0 times 0 0 0 so 2 0 cancel we get left with the 0 so we, we have a limit it's going to exist so you can already see that now let's go ahead and do this one so here we have 3 absolute value y and now we know that x is 0, y is 0, so if you plug the y right, uh, 0 right here, this is definitely going to be 0, right? And from this one we know that this is 0, and this is 0, and according to squeeze theorem, if we have both sides 0, the value in between should be also 0. So therefore this value is 0, that's what we are trying to find, right? So the limit of this one is 0, therefore limit exists. So limit exists and that's how we find whether the limit exists or not for a multivariable function using squeezing approach. I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.